continue our discussion about our words, right? And we've talked about OU a lot, but we also have OW that makes that OW sound as well. So let's think out, found, foul, ouch, pout, count. What else would make the OW sound for a word? And which column is going to go in OU or OW? How. How. Where's it going to go? OW. OW. So it's H O W. Makes the OW sound. Follow. F O L L O W. Hmm. Follow. Oh. Does it make the ow sound? Fall up. It doesn't fall ow, right? So be careful because these letters can make other sounds too. She brings up a really good point. That's why the English language is so gosh darn tricky because it can they can make make several sounds. And sometimes we have to try that sound in lots of different ways. And that's really what you're learning. It does, but it make, doesn't make the ow sound, does it? It makes the o, foul o, foul o, not foul ow, right? Yeah. Ow? Ow. Well, we have ouch, right? Yeah, ow. Sure. We, but what would the ow be? O, W, yeah. So we'll just circle that whole thing, or underline mm -hmm. that whole thing. Thank you for your hand. Mouse. Mouse, which is it? Um, oh, yeah. Right, M O U S E M O U S E. Never mind. Snout. Snout. Where would that go? Um, o W. Hmm. Snout. Let's try it. If I'm ever in doubt about snout, I would just write it down. So snout. Does that look right? No. Let's try it the other way. Snout. Does that look better? Yeah. Yeah. So sometimes your eyes can help you, right? Out. And we have the la the last word out in it that might give us a hint too. Mouth. Mouth. Which one? Um. O U. O U. Good for you. Mouth. Tricky sounds. No. No. Ow. Now. Now. Which was it gonna go? O U or O W? Right, good girl. I like how she changed that right away. She said, wait a minute, no, now. She fixed that. Towel. Towel? Or towel. 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 Towel? Which is it going to go? T O or T O uh, or O W? O W. O W. Towel. Towel. Where's it going to go? O U or O W? O W. O W. Nice. We're getting a big list. House. Where's it going to go? O U or O W? O U. O U. Nice. House. Tricky, tricky. Um, cow. Cow. O U or O W? O W. O W. Cow. Cow. Cat. 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 Uh, 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 Mm. There's an OU in touch, isn't there? Like, like check this out. She's got this, this we've got touch, T-O-U-C-H. She's thinking of OU words. She's got an OU word, but watch, touch. We don't say touch. Don't touch, the stove is hot. <laughs> right, we say don't touch, the stove is hot. So tricky. That brings up again, we just said, sometimes words that have OU can make a different sound other than an O. They can say the A, O sound, touch, uch, uch. Okay. Or, or you sound, yeah. Couch. Couch. O U or O W? Um. O U. O U. Good. Again, if we don't know, writing it down sometimes gives us a, a visual of, oh, that doesn't look right. Oh, okay, that might be it. Last one. A mound. Mound. Which one? O W. Hmm, let's look and see. Ready? M O. W N D or M O U N D? M O U N D. M O U N D. Again, that visual helps us sometimes, and I do that. You see, lots of parents say, let me, let me write that down, see if that um, makes sense. Okay, so we have a really great start. We'll add to these words more this week as we go through our week. We'll be studying these words next week as well, because right now we're, we're so ahead that we can do two weeks of each lesson, which is really nice luxury since these are a lot of new um, concepts that we're just making sure we're solid before we hit third grade. Okay? You can turn it on.